subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Python is a versatile and widely used programming language known for its readability and flexibility. One of the key characteristics that sets Python apart is its typing system. Python is often described as having dynamic typing, but it's essential to understand what this means and how it differs from static typing. In statically typed languages, variable types are declared and checked at compile time. Once a variable is assigned a type, it cannot change during the program's execution. This can lead to increased performance and early detection of certain types of errors but may require more explicit type annotations. In dynamically typed languages like Python, variable types are determined and checked at runtime. Variables can change their type during the execution of the program, providing more flexibility and ease of use. However, it may lead to runtime errors if types are not handled correctly. Let's explore Python's dynamic typing with examples. In this example, variable underscore dynamic is initially assigned an integer value and later reassigned a string value. Python allows such dynamic changes in variable types. Here, the at underscore numbers function can accept both integers and strings without explicitly specifying the types in the function signature. Python's dynamic typing enables this flexibility. While Python is dynamically typed, you can use type annotations to provide hints to developers and tools about the expected types. Type annotations are not enforced at runtime, but they serve as documentation and can be utilized by tools like linters and ides to provide better code insights. In conclusion, Python is dynamically typed, allowing for flexibility and ease of use. Understanding dynamic typing is crucial for writing robust and flexible Python code. If needed, type annotations can be used to enhance code readability and maintainability. ChatGPT